astronomically, lots yes. going on this week. Um, so we have a full moon coming up tomorrow night, and the reason why, so this is good and bad news, and you say, why is it, why is it, why could it be bad news? Well, um, the full moon is going to interact and kind of dampen the meteor shower show tonight. Yep. Um, so we have the landed meteor showers tonight. Uh, they peaked last night, so tonight is kind of like what's left over. Right. Um, but because the full moon is going to be out, you know, that you really want a dark sky to be yeah. able to see a meteor shower. With that full moon out all night, uh, again, it's, it's past peak anyways for the show, so basically what I'm saying here is if you're out later tonight, take a look up, maybe you get to see one, but I wouldn't plan the night around it. Absolutely. It's not just the meteor showers streaking through the sky, though. We also have yeah. a pass of the International Space Station. And this is so cool. If you've never seen it, um, this is one of the coolest things to be able to look up in the sky. And it looks just kind of like a, almost like a plane, but it's at much higher altitude. And it just, for six minutes, uh, again. It's a really good pass, six minutes. Six minute pass, 75 degree height, which is almost basically right over top of the head. <laughs> the only caveat here is you gotta get up kind of early. You gotta get up <laughs> wicked early, yes. 4.55 in the morning tomorrow, but if you happen to be an early riser, you get, you really, it should be a clear night. Um, it should, and then you just look up overhead, it's gonna be going from west, southwest to northeast. And it's just so cool to think, like, my goodness, there are literally uh, astronauts up there flying over. Yep. 14,000 miles per hour is how fast. Yeah. It's... And they get, uh, I think, 19 sunrises every day. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, something like so that. Cool. I did a talk with the international, a couple astronauts on the International Space Station a few years ago, and I remember having to research some of those things. And yeah. It was around one of their 19 suns, sunrises or sunsets <laughs> that they see uh, so, that we got to talk to them. Um, so yeah, so we got, you got the full moon, you got the, the Leonids, you got the flyby, and in general, a pretty nice week of weather.